Hi Christine, this is Lee Brewer, Joey Lemiel's partner. Just doing a quick video walkthrough of your property. I'm going to give you a couple suggestions while we're in here. Uh, in order to get top dollar for this property, one of the things that you're going to have to do is update this uh, wallpaper. Our suggestion would be to remove the wallpaper and, and just put a nice neutral color paint. Uh, accent that paint with some white baseboards just to kind of make it pop a little bit. First thing that any buyer is going to see when they walk into this property is you look at the two twin beds, which is very functional for tenants. The problem is, is that it makes it look even more dated. So what you could do with two twin beds is just simply push them together to make it look like a king. Go with a bed in a bag, uh, which is very inexpensive. We we'll throw some fluffy throw pillows on there and make it look updated just by doing very little. You've got this mirror. Uh, that's also extremely dated. What we could do there is remove that, put a nice fixture when we remove the wallpaper and do the paint. Uh, and that'll just bring everything in the bathroom up to an update. Closet, I'm just kind of giving you a little quick little tour of what uh, people are seeing when they walk in. I know you know your property, but I'm just trying to help you get a better review since it's been a while since you've been here. Show you what your view is looking like now. Actually, the view is pretty decent. You know, considering you're on the third floor, typically what that means is that you're going to be at the level of the palm trees. In this case, the palm trees out on Lido Beach are a little bit taller. So we're just going to basically sell the sizzle on how close you are to the beach. Zip back out into the living room. Okay, so first impression when I see the living room, first thing that comes to my mind is the Brady Bunch. Um, I think that we could probably just reorganize the living room, just move things around a little bit to make it look really nice. One of the other things that you might want to consider doing uh, is putting tile down or upgrading the carpet. Uh, you can even potentially have the carpet cleaned and restretched so everything looks nice and clean, nice and tight. The outside lanai looks really nice. And your view is actually from this level, it's really pretty decent. Going into the dining room, again, this, this chair that you have right here, I would lose that chair. We don't need it. Um, the china cabinet is fine, but you just need the basic utensils in there. And the china that you have in there is very dated. We could go down to Women's Exchange, which is just a thrift shop, get some, you know, a little bit more updated looking glasses and plates if you're going to do a turnkey unit. But to be honest with you, we don't know who the buyer is going to be. Um, in, in this market right now, you're probably going to end up with somebody that's northern that might be just wanting to retire here. So with that being said, they're going to be looking for something that's pretty close to what their taste is going to be. On this, uh, in the kitchen, the wallpaper that you have in that background is extremely dated. I'd remove all the wallpaper and just go with paint. Like this area right here, you just do paint. Uh, looks like you've already removed a cabinet that was right here. Looks like there was a cabinet right here at one point. That's been removed, which is wonderful. It opens up your view. But I would probably suggest that you add some tile in that backsplash area just to give it more of a modern pop. If you want to go a little bit more, you could even get rid of this ceiling. Um, the ceiling would look wonderful if that was, uh, I guess, like a vaulted tray ceiling, what have you. Uh, put a fixture in there and it would just raise the whole ceiling level. But that's not nearly as critical as what this backsplash is doing. Because this is one of the biggest things that people are going to be seeing that just looks like the 70s. It's not even the 80s back into the living room. Again, the twin beds, uh, I would push those together for sure. Some of the accessories could be updated to a little bit more of a modern theme. I mean, this is a beautiful building. It's on one of the nicest beaches in the world and it's just very dated. And I know you've owned the property for some time. Um, I would venture to say that this furniture has probably been here most of that time. 
the small little details, like when you see this little crack, you know, we're talking less than a hundred bucks to scrape that out and get it, uh, you know, properly primed and painted to where you would never see it. The skip trial that you've got going in this bathroom looks fantastic. Um, again, we're just talking about getting top dollar for the property. In order to do that, there's things that you need to do. Uh, one of the things is, is consider doing the popcorn ceiling like this skip trial that you've got going on here. Or you could even go to a knockdown. Say the popcorn that you have here just immediately screams dated. Nothing wrong with it. But again, we're just trying to give you ideas on what you're going to have to do to get the number that you're looking for. Wallpaper, I would lose the wallpaper and just put paint. You don't have to do anything crazy. Flip the light on so you can see. I would replace this vanity and put a nice fixture in there and kind of open it all up. Have a hanging mirror possibly on a hook. Nothing special. And of course the bathroom. Go back into the bedroom. And that is about it. Um, I would probably do one last thing. The service vents on the air conditioner uh, are the original silver, which is fine. But they've updated, I don't know if they've updated all the electrical and put white plates on or if you did that. But I would definitely put white service vents up on the air conditioner. It just makes them look brand new. And I'm talking about to a white like that. Hope that helps you a lot.